Hello, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Joey Moss of Bad Boy Gaming, and today we have the Chaos Six Pack. You can purchase these from your Walmart, possibly Target as well, for $19.99. Question is, is it worth it? These have appeared on the channel a couple times before, but this is probably the last batch they're going to put out uh, before they actually make new ones for next year. So I thought, let's go ahead and crack them open. That being said, from last week, I asked you guys a question. I wanted to know, what is your favorite card from Guilds of Ravnica? And I was going to give away the Knight of Autumn and the card on the back. I'll announce that winner in just a bit. Thank you for everyone who participated in that. Uh, yeah, a lot of responses. Also, if you like, share, and are already subscribed to this channel... I'm going to give away this too. A signed little Joey Moss, Full Art Mountain from Zendikar. A big ol' Hostility. A Bassandra Battle Seraph. And an Angel of Serenity Mythic. All you got to do again, like, comment, hit that bell, be subscribed, and share the video. Question. Do you guys think it's worth it to buy a Chaos 6 pack? We're going to have that answered for sure by the end of this video. But I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts on this. You can save it for the end of the video after you get your own uh, general analysis. Make up your own mind on this if it is worth it. And Cordell Mason sent me a little something. We're going to crack that open. I like what he put here. Joey the Ninja. <laughs> that is sweet, dude. Thanks, man. We'll find out what that is in a bit as well. Let's see what we get inside of here. And what's our promo going to be? Typically, they've always been the same thing. So, so far, so good. We got a Dragons of Tarkir booster pack. That's pretty nifty. We have, ooh, a foil. We have an Aether Revolt booster pack, which you guys know aren't that cheap anymore. Uh, Curator of Mysteries. Pretty cool. That's our promo. So, you get a promo inside every one of these. Not too bad. Legit. A Kaladesh booster pack, which we know has gone up in, uh, in value. Ixalan, which has gone up in value. All right, we're doing good. Hour of Devastation. Another Kaladesh, which is up in value. So right now, not bad from the packs which have gone up in value. Let's see what's up inside of here. Kaladesh, to actually, we'll go in order. What I think is the most expensive to least. I'd say probably the le well, least first. Hour of Devastation, followed by... Ooh, it's tough. Maybe Dragons of Tarkir. Ixalan behind it. Aether Revolt. Kala Kala. Bada bing. Let's crack our devastation. Pulling an invocation out of here would be ridiculous, I must say. That would be really neat. But don't get your hopes up. Because I know I'm not. All right. Unconventional tactics. Always enjoyed that artwork. Really have. Farm and Market. It's hard to see the artwork on these cards. They're just so tiny. Bam! Got an Abrade. That's slick. Followed by an Hour of Promise. Four Hour Rare. Search your library for up to two land cards. Put them onto the battlefield tapped and shuffle your library. Then if you control three or more deserts, create two 2-2 two, two Black Zombie Creature Tokens. The bottom of this card's seen better days. Without Weakness Foil. That one I do remember pulling this. Really neat foil, really neat artwork. I like how the blade looks on that. Pretty cool. So we got a foil out of the first pack with a uh, forest and a zombie token in the back. Dragons of Tarkir is next. Can we pull a nasty dragon? I hope we do. It'd be pretty sweet if we do. So yeah, I gotta know, guys. Do you think it's worth it? Do you think it is worth it? $19.99. Just In my opinion right now, just from... The pack value standpoint, technically it's worth it because that the Aether Revolt and Kaladesh, I believe, are going for more than like four dollars each. So just between those few packs alone, I think it kind of it's up there in price. Icefall Regan pulled the nasty little dragon here. It's got for five flying whenever I'm sorry when Icefall Regan enters the battlefield, tap target creature and opponent controls. That creature doesn't untap during its controller's untap step for as long as you control Icefall Regan. Spells your opponent's cast at target Icefall Regan cost. Two more to cast. Two more colorless. And a foil swamp. <clears throat> wow. All right, so we got back-to-back -back foil packs. Can you deal with that? <clears throat> Excuse me, clear my throat. That is pretty neat. And we got an Ixalan booster pack. What, oh, what is inside this Ixalan booster pack? Is it a Carnage Tyrant? I know, it's what everyone wants to know right now. Is it a Carnage Tyrant? Belligerent, Slice and Twain, River Sneak, 
Anakin Jolly's Sunwing. I think we might have another foil yet again. Creatures your opponents control enter the battlefield tapped. And another foil. Three. That's three straight foils. Wow. Glorifier of Dusk. Pretty neat. I can't believe we pulled that many foils so far. That's a foil in every pack. So because of my incredible luck, which we all know I'm known for on this channel, uh, right now, in my opinion, it is worth it. But that's just because we're getting lucky. I must say, just because we're getting lucky. All right, we got a shock. Druid of Cow, Alley Strangler, the Old Aether, Implement of Malice, Daredevil Dragster, Wind Can Raiders, Fad Our Guardian. This was banned um, uh, in standard. Pretty sure it was. Could be mistaken, but I doubt it. Pia's Revelation. Whenever a non-token artifact is put into your graver from the battlefield, return that card to your hand unless target opponent has PS Revelation deal three damage to him or her. Interesting artwork on this one. And a servo token. So no foil in that one, but we got our Kaladesh. Will Kaladesh save the day? Let's find out together. Will Kaladesh save the day? Two packs. We have our unlicensed disintegration. Filigree Familia. Servo Exhibition, Angel of Invention, son of a beanbag, there she blows. We got the old Angel of Invention, Flying, Vigilance, and Lifelink, Fabricate for Deuce. Other creatures you control get plus one, plus one. You know what, I'm going to juice it up just a little bit for you guys, because I really do appreciate all your likes, shares, and comments. I'm going to throw this in with these other angels and whatnot. How about that? So you get the Angel Invention as well. Bada, bing. Kaladesh. Come on, Kaladesh. Be good to me. Be good to me. Let's see what we get. I have heard stories of people pulling invocations out of here and whatnot. Or masterpieces, inventions, whatever you want to call the things. Um, I have heard stories of that. So I've never been lucky enough to pull one out of one of these. If I did, that'd be insane. Wildest Dreams. Return X target cards from your graveyard to your hand. Exile Wildest Dreams. Oh, and a uh, deck of, I can't even say that. Decoction module. De Someone's making fun of me right now. Uh, is our foil. Wow. A lot of foils up in there. Every pack minus two had a foil. Pretty good indeed. Um, I want to announce that winner really quick. Actually, first, I want to open up my buddy Cordell who sent me something. Mr. Mason, thank you very much for sending this. Take a quick peek here, see what we get inside. Make sure I can't. Or I'm not revealing a return address. I pulled it way back. Let's see what we got here. Um, okay, I don't think there's a return address on here. Let's take a look-see. Joey, my man. I know you love foils and zombies. Very true. So snag this at LGS for you. Sorry it took a bit, but recently started a new job training and blah, blah, blah. Well, congrats on the new job. So for the patience, enjoy the foil murder. Love it. Sorry, envelope was ruined, so had to resend. Delta Tango out. Nice. All right. Foil murder, baby. You guys know I love my murder. Mo murder mo. Mo murder mo. Let's get the, how shiny can we see that? Sorry, I mean a clap in your ear. Earmuffs, children. Earmuffs. So we got the foil. Ooh, police. What? Ooh. What we got here? Nasty. Embalmed brawler foil with amplified. Whenever embalmed brawler attacks or blocks, you lose one life or each plus one plus one counter on it. Love my older foils. That is really, really cool. Mason, my dude, thank you. Thank you very much, my ninja. And we got the foil murder. Can't go wrong with murder, babe. Gorgeous to look at. Destroy target creature. Thanks, my dude. Appreciate that. A heck lot. I thought I was going to have something to sign for you. I feel like I uh, had to do you a little solid, but I guess not. Well, thanks, man. On to the last one. Chaos Six Pack. Go over this one a little quicker. Hopefully, we get something really cool in here. You just never know. So, we got Oath of the Gatewatch. I think it's cool that they do these, honestly, because you could pull one of those expeditions or masterpieces because they load them up with these. So, we got other Curator Mysteries. Is that how it's always going to be? That's one thing I don't really care for. Got the Amon Cat, Ixalan, Hour of Devastation, and another Ixalan. All right, all right. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, we're going to go in order. I'll say Innistrad is the cheapest. Hour of Devastation, Amonkhet, Rivals is going to go in front of both of those. 
followed by, we'll go with Ixalan, and Oath is last. Shadows over Innistrad, baby, here we go. Shadows over Innistrad, what's it gonna be? Is it gonna be a foil in every pack like the other one? Because that was insane. Forsaken Sanctuary, second harvest for each token you control, put a token on the battlefield. That's a copy of that permanent. That can get out of control. Imagine that in the standard right now. Kessig Forge Master Flipper, and that's all she blew. Got a spirit token to punt. To punt in the face. Rivals of Ixalan, here we go. Skinny. River. Old River. All right, done with that. Football's about to be on. Who's watching? Mausoleum Harpy, Forerunner of the Empire. Cool card. Ravenous Chupacabra, bada bang. And a Tender Shoot Dryad. Pretty, pretty cool card. Uh, it's got the Ascend, and at the beginning of each upkeep, create a 1 1 green sapling creature token. Saplings you control get plus 2, plus 2, as long as you have the city's blessing. Neat card. No foil. I am shocked. No foil. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, no foil. River Hoopo. Cool artwork. Hope and a Bond. <laughs> Not even going to say it. Bantu's Last Reckoning. Welcome back, Sonny Boy. <laughs> and a full art swamp to punt. Bantu's Last Reckoning, as you guys know, destroy all creatures and then land you control. Don't untap during your next untap step. I'm in catch. I'm in check. Can we get a kitty? Are we going to get a kitty? Tormenting Voice tends to always be on top. You ever notice that Kraken Packs? Tormenting Voice is almost always on top. Cryptic Serpent up in the piece. Approach of the Second Sun. This is one of those cards that you could win the game and you get two of them out, basically. <laughs> That's how she works. Good old Ixalan. Anything nasty up in Ixalan? Almost forgot. I'll do it right for this pack. We'll see who won. We got the uh, Rallying Roar. Thundering Spineback, Emissary of Sunrise, Emperor's Vanguard. Whenever Emperor's Vanguard deals combat damage to a player, it explores. It's a 4-3. And a Foil Dire Fleet Hoarder. I gotta say, this the second batch has not been good to us whatsoever. Let's see. Here she blows. So, who won the Knight of Autumn? That's what your favorite Guild of Ravnica card is. And, boosh, a complete random. You get the Amara as well. Kevbo said Risk Factor. I think Risk Factor is a really good card. Surprised, I think, a lot of us with just how powerful it really is. So, Kevbo, congratulations. I need you to email me at mossbergswerve at gmail.com. That's M-O-S-B-E-R-G-S-W-E-R-V-E at gmail.com. Meandering River Balith Null. Eldrazi, Corrupted Crossroads, and a Full Art Forest to finish her out. There is that. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Don't forget, these cards are up for grabs. All you gotta do is share the video somewhere on social media, like your Facebooks, your Reddits, you know, whatever. Uh, Twitter, whatnot. I do have a Twitter also. You can find all the information in the links in the description of every video. And uh, these cards are up for grabs. I'll see you next week when we announce the winner for this one. Good luck, guys. Good luck. As always, PLA.